Hello! Um, today I'm here with a new video and for you who doesn't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I am a cruelty free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and today I do not know what is going to happen. I'm going to do a makeup look. This might get into get rid with me. I don't know. Actually, um, we will just have to wait and see. Maybe it is get rid with me. But like, should I really do that many? I don't know. But I think it will end up like that. Um, I haven't posted for a while. I think it's been over a week and I am not going to feel stressed about that. I am not going to feel bad about that. It's just the way it is. I've talked a little bit about this in uh, Get Ready With Me. <laughs> that I want to maybe slow down a little bit with YouTube and this week, today it's Friday, I just haven't got like any motiva motivation at all for YouTube or Instagram or anything so I haven't just even done anything but today I was like okay maybe I just want to sit down and do makeup look make up a look so I'm going to do something pink today and I'm going to use the Ooh La La palette from Colourpop and I think I'm going to use one of the duochromes from or multichromes but this is duochrome I think I'm going to use this one from Nomad this is the Tokyo Harioko palette we will see or maybe I shouldn't because I for some reason I want to do a pink bright look I don't know who am I uh, but I would start with this one if I remember I will put the shadows down in the description if I don't I don't but okay what do I want to talk about? In my latest Get Red With Me, I I think it was, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. Um, I talked a little bit about that we was going to do an ultrasound on Astrid. And it was supposed to happen yesterday, the 18th. On the um, first day. But on Wednesday, they called and said that the vet was sick. So now I'm going to wait another month. And I just wanted this to be over with. I want to know if she is sick. She has like one... Let me look this up. One of her like kind of veins is a little bit... Was a little bit tight when she was small. So they are going to see if it still is. And we have to take it from there. And uh, yeah, now I have to go with this for another month. And I didn't want to do it. I just wanted to be over with. But it is what it is. And also I talked a little bit about that my dad is sick. And they didn't know what it was now. They might know. That feels a little bit um, hard. Like it's the, in the back of my mind all the time. And I think it especially feels a little bit hard because I live so far away from my parents. And yeah. And other than that, I have just been... I don't know what it is up with me. But like my energy level has been so low. I've actually been a little bit better to go to bed a little bit earlier. Not early enough, but a little bit earlier. Okay, do I want to do this? Have I planned this? No, I am not. I'm going to do this. Um, but I'm still like so tired. But it's getting better. And I also have bought... A Fitbit, a new one. I had one before, but it's old. I can't charge it anymore. And I, it was my birthday last weekend. Um, I don't know when this is coming up, but it was my birthday. 
and I bought this as a gift to myself and this has a function that wakes you up. You put an alarm so I have it at 5 and this is going to wake me up when I have my, the lightest sleep between half past 4 and 5. And so I have been going up <laughs> half past 5, now half past 4 two days now and it actually feels a little bit better. You know sometimes when you wake up before the alarm and you're kinda awake, you're not feeling that tired but it is like maybe <laughs> you can get 20 more minutes of sleep so you go back to sleep and then when you wake up again you are so much more tired. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try this. So I've tested it for two days and it actually, even though I go, go up half an hour earlier, I don't feel as tired anymore. So that feels great. So maybe I'm going to keep doing this. And it's now, that was like everything I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I haven't done my eyeshadow done yet, but yeah more to say then this look is not turning out what I was thinking it was going to be but I guess I will just wing it <laughs> we will see how it will go because I actually thinking of doing a, a for halo um, I think I will actually try to do that and if you don't know what that is, I'm going to take my glitter primer from NYX and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush, put on the as a halo and then I'm going to take the dual chrome on it. And yeah, about being tired, some days I am like coming home from work and I lay in my bed for like until it's time to do dinner and I don't know what that is I don't know if it is because I had the thing but it was like in the end of December and the beginning of this year so I don't know if it can like still be if I still can be tired after that I have no idea so I don't know if it is that or if it's just I'm tired I don't know but okay I this is not turning out as I did plan it because this all looks blue now. Poop. Is this what's happened when you haven't put on makeup for over a week? You don't know how to do it anymore? Okay, that was a lie because I wore makeup. But the strangest thing happened when it was my birthday. <laughs> I felt super pleased and happy with myself and with my life and that is like such a strange feeling for me but I was like standing okay this was maybe better should I take this over yeah I should I was like standing in the kitchen and was like I'm really happy with my life right now and it felt so weird then I woke up the next day and I didn't feel the same. But it was like this feeling. I haven't felt this in like forever I think. So I don't know if that is good or if it's bad. But it was just so strange. But it felt. I guess it felt good. Okay, I don't know. What even is this? What? What am I doing to my lid? And on my birthday we didn't do like anything special. 
I my birthday was on a Saturday and I got breakfast in bed. I wished for that. And then we watched the the Fox and the Hound Disney movie. Fox and the Hound. In Swedish it is Micke och Molle. But I think it's the Fox and the Hound. It's my favorite Disney movie. And I have done like this year I'm going to see all the classical Disney movies and I'm going to watch them in English because I've seen the ones that I saw when I was little I saw in Swedish because I didn't know English and uh, I'm looking at them in English and okay the fox and the hound it was a mistake to watch it in English because it wasn't the same thing but now I have seen it so I'm trying to watch at least one Disney movie per weekend and I don't know like do I want to see Aladdin 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 and the Lion King in the wrong language I don't know because like Aladdin I think it's called Aladdin in English um it is I think that is my second best Disney movie and I know like all the songs in Swedish I have no idea how they are in English <laughs> so like I don't know do I want to watch it it's going to destroy my childhood maybe it's going to do that maybe we just have to wait and see and actually I can tell you a little secret 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 when I was a child my first love was Aladdin I hated Jasmine is she even called Jasmine in English but the girl in Aladdin I just hated her because she was with Aladdin 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 I have no idea do you see that movie is going to be destroyed for me because I don't even know the English name for it. So I don't know, maybe I should just take that one and The Lion King and watch them on English and my childhood would be destroyed. Maybe I should do that, I don't know. But like, when I have watched the Disney movies, some of them are so bad. So bad. Okay, do you know what? This is not at all what I planned, but I think I like it a little bit more now than I did in the beginning when I put it on. Maybe I should put on my foundation and concealer and we just do the under eyes together because I don't know how much more I want to talk about. So, but I'm going to talk about one more thing when it comes to Disney movies. I'm going to tell you which one. I think it's so bad and also do you want to like know which one I've seen or maybe I should take like the one that I'm most disappointed at so far and the one that I didn't know what that good I don't know how many I've seen I can what I can check that first I have watched 17 Disney movies this year okay I'm going to fix my base and then I come back. Put the faces on and I used cream products and I, I just fail with them pretty often. So okay I was going to talk about fails and actually really good Disney movies. I have <laughs> seen I'm not going to tell you all that I have seen but some of these I've never seen before and some of these I it was like 20 years ago but one that is so bad I think it's called Lady and Tramp in English so far that is the worst Disney movie I have seen I actually don't know if I saw it when I was little but it's just 
so freaking bad. When I saw it, I was like, what is this for shit? I'm sorry if that is your favorite Disney movie. It's, it's really, really not mine. And one that I thought was so good, I think I did see it when I was little. Um, it's The Rescuers, I think it's called. In Sweden it's Bernard and Bernard och Bianca. I think it's The Rescuers. I first saw the first one, I thought that was good, but then I saw The Down Under, the second one. Loved it. And that, I'm actually not sure if I saw when I was little, but that one I did really like. And I'm not watching them in like any type of order, I just see what I feel like. And then I also saw Sotropolis, I guess it's called Sotropolis in English as well. And that is kind of new. and. I liked it. I think it was really good. I think that is the news one that I've seen so far. And if you haven't seen it, see it because it's a good movie. Now Ines is here. Left the door open. And is there any other that I was like? Yeah, also like Emperor's New Style. I don't think it's called like that. I can right it here that was good and then i watched pinocchio i don't really know and this weekend i actually think that it will be aladdin and lion king just to have it have it done just to do it okay i'm just going to put something in my how to do do you see here Ines, what do you think now, Fräken? They are usually not allowed in here. Oop! <laughs> Maybe do you want to see her? Here she is. Do, do. I got makeup on. She always wants to clean our faces. So here she is. Are you a little bit bigger than last time? Maybe. And she's actually going... Okay. I'm not an expert on ragdolls. This is my first ragdoll, Ines. But they like can change their color until they are maybe three years. I don't know. And when she was little, she only had some colors on her ears and on her tail. But now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Ines. Do you hear her purr? She's going a little bit darker around the ears. So strong lights. And also she's getting like a little bit of color next to her eye. Yeah. So it will be fun to see how she will look when she's older. Hey do. It's okay, where was I? I was going to take something in my watch line. I'm so sorry if you don't like cats, but <laughs> It's not me that is crazy, then it's you. I am fully aware that I am a crazy cat lady. I am not even trying to pretend that I'm not, because I just am. I'm a proud crazy cat lady. And okay, another Disney movie. Okay, this is going to be the last thing with Disney movie. Another Disney movie that I really, really, really love is Hercules. I don't know what it is about it, but... Maybe Fox and the Hound, Aladdin, and Hercules is my favorites. Okay, so I'm going to put on something on my lips. Do I want something really dark on my lips? Maybe I do. I actually think I will take a kernel from Nabla. And this is my pink, pinkish look. I don't know what this video was about. I'm going to not promise anything. I do not go I do not know when I will post my next video. I need to find my motivation again and I want to like feel 
excited to film. I don't know if it is with like my low buy or my no buy at the time that I don't know what to do. I don't know what palette I want to use. I don't know anything. I'm going to do theme weeks and like I'm sit down and like okay I'm going to start to do this. I'm going to do maybe I'm going to do Yves Place week again and Nabla week again. And I'm thinking about maybe Colourpop week with maybe the monochromatic Colourpop or just playing with Colourpop. I don't know. But it's like I haven't got like the energy to do so many videos at a time right now. I hope I will get there soon. We will see. We will see how I feel tomorrow. We will see how I feel even later today because I don't know. But I hope you liked this video and I will see you when I see you and yeah, we just have to wait and see, and see how I feel. But I hope you liked this and I don't know what more to say. And if I'm bad at answering like comments and DMs on Instagram and stuff like that, it is I read them. And I'm trying to answer them, but it's like I'm going. I'm thinking like I'm going to answer it later, and later never comes. But yeah, I'm sorry for that. I am hoping that I will get back to normal soon. Hang in there. I hang in there. Maybe it will be get read with me in a week from now on as well. I don't know. We will just have to wait and see. I don't know any more than you. Maybe I'm going to leave it at that. But yeah, okay, I really hope you liked this video and I hope I will see you in the next one, whenever that will be. Bye!